making bottle cap fish, didn't get it. Painting fish didn't get it. But when I came upon the buttons, the luminous buttons that I've dyed or not, and I started working with them and the buttons became my paints, I was able to get that effect, make that happen. And when my fish are lit up, I'm happy about that. This is Mr. Marlin in all his glory, and I'm quite pleased with it. The striped bass I spoke of once that was found in the water. As a young boy, I found the pole in the water, and this is what I remember I, the fish looked like, that kind of light on it. That is the rainbow trout. That sockeyed salmon, I mean, I, that tickles me silly. I, I, I just love how that turned out. Another fish that delights me is this red drum. Cutthroat trout gets the name, that little red bead there under the jawline. Short, thin mako. Love the shark. Tiger shark. Southern California yellow fin tuna. An Atlantic bluefish. A rooster fish off the coast of Central America. This is a tarpon. It's one of my favorites. The reason I like them is I actually have square buttons in there and triangular buttons that kind of I don't know, kind of worked for me. This <clears throat> is a lemon shark that I call Lola Bonefish. This is my version of a steelhead. Chinook salmon. Large mouth bass. This is Simone, Dorado Dolphin. This is a flying fish. The illumination from the different types of buttons really helps me get across this point that trying to put a little light on a problem that affects all of us, you know, the fish. When they're gone, what do we do? So I'm trying to illuminate with this artwork this subject that affects all of us. <laughs>